Uh, as far as what we covered uh, in the first part of this section, we talked about the, the different ways of proving lines parallel. We talked about SSI, AIA, AEA, and CA. And for all of these last ones, if these are equal, then the lines are parallel. And for the same side interior angles, it was if they were supplementary, then the lines were parallel. And so those are the relationships that we identify. And so if we take a look at one of those statements, so let's take the SSI. If we took this statement right here, this is what we proved. If same side interior angles are supplementary, then lines are parallel, and we abbreviated it as SSI. Okay. What if we were to uh, take this hypothesis and conclusion? So the hypothesis is the if part, and the conclusion is the then part. And what if we switch them up? Okay. So what if we said if lines are parallel, then same side interior angles are supplementary. And this statement is called a converse. A converse just means that you switch the if and then parts, the hypothesis and conclusion. And so this particular uh, converse of SSI will also just be referred to as SSI. Okay. On page 61 of, or on page 60, I went through the proofs for these converses of each of these statements, SSI, AIA, AEA, and CA. Okay. If you want, you can look over them. But SSI, AIA, AEA, and CA will, will stand for both the original relationship as well as its converse. So we're going to uh, simplify it and allow you to use that working in either direction. Okay. And so the same is true here. If uh, if lines are parallel, then alternate interior angles are equal. If lines are parallel, then alternate exterior angles are equal. If lines are parallel, then corresponding angles are equal. So the converse of each of those will also hold true. And we're just going to use the same exact abbreviation regardless of which one we're demonstrating or applying. Okay, so what that means is if we took... Um, the following relationship. If, if you were told that ang or lines one and two were parallel to each other and they were intersected by line three, again creating these angles, these eight angles here, okay, based on SSI, we can make the statement that same side interior angles such as angle 3 plus angle 6 has to equal 180. The reason, again, if we were given that the lines were parallel to start with, then we can draw the conclusion that the same side interior angles are supplementary. We can draw the conclusion that alternate interior angles are equal. So what would be one example of alternate interior angles being equal in this case? Measure of angle 3 is equal to measure of angle what? 5. Okay, what about alternate exterior angles? What statement could we draw or conclusion could we draw if we knew lines were parallel? What would measure of angle 1 be equal to? 7. And then finally, using corresponding angles, we can draw the conclusion that, again, let's talk, 
say with angle one is equal to angle, what's the corresponding angle with angle one? Same side of the transversal, one in the interior, one in the exterior. Five. Okay, so angles one and five would be uh, equal based on corresponding angles. And now we can add this to the things that we already looked at from here, vertical angles. What would be a pair of vertical angles that are equal in this diagram? Again, if we stay with angle one and angle three. And then we also have a reason definition of linear pair. And that would be angle one plus angle two is equal to 180. Okay, so these, these are basically the, or the statements that you can draw or conclusions you can draw based on a diagram here. Okay, so anytime you're looking at proofs, you may see these show up in a proof. Okay, and you'll use these to justify uh, not only that lines are parallel, but if lines are parallel to begin with, it justifies this set of angle pairs and their relationship is either being equal or supplementary. Okay, what I would like you to do is if you can take a look at the sample, the set of sample problems on page 61, please. I want you just to take a moment really quickly to see if you can answer these three questions. Okay, you should be able to do it pretty quickly. Three are parallel and W is 35 degrees. What would angle the measure for Y have to be? Also 35, and the justification would be what kind of angles are W and Y? Those are corresponding angles. Okay. If we look at the second example, again, we still have parallel lines. This time uh, we're told that X and Y are equal. So again, it's not drawn to scale, but if those are equal to each other, what other relationship holds true between X and Y? X plus Y has to equal? 180, okay, and that would be by SSI. And so if they equal 180 and they're both the same, we can simply think of this as uh, Y plus Y is equal to 180, or 2Y equals 180, so Y is equal to 90. Okay, so you can justify that to begin with with SSI and then just substitution and uh, the math, math properties. And then the final example here, again, the lines are parallel to each other. Angle Z is 120. And so what would angle the measure of V equal? Well, if this is 120, then the uh, alternate exterior angle would be 120. And now the linear pair gives you your answer of 60. Okay.